Wait, this guy has loud music as well. Hey, we got a No Way clip! Whoa, whoa, it's No Way AP Varus. Oh, Mr. No Way! He's not saying a single word. You just know he's so focused right now. Come on, Mr. No Way. Yeah, it is. There it is. Let's go. Finishing the Sunos video with a No Way Pants. All right. It's the least time because they took my Bulbuff away. I see how it is. That's okay. Let's show them how it's done. Okay, stop. I want to add a lot of W's today. No else. W's only. Let's make it happen. What are the worst Elise matchups? So, I think Elise is hardest to play into... Actually, I don't know if she has like any super bad matchups in that sense. One of the tricky parts of playing Elise in the current meta is that most of the strong junglers have really good clear speed. And when I play Elise, I don't really focus on clearing the jungle, I focus on getting my lanes ahead, which means that the champion like Belveth or Graves or Diana or Kane or whatever are usually going to get a pretty, pretty big CS lead on me. So, with time, if I don't put my lanes ahead and we snowball, I'm going to fall behind and I'm going to fall further and further behind. So in the, when it comes to that, there's a lot of pressure on me to perform and to play well. And that's really it. Like, you just don't scale at all on the lease. It's all about the early game. So I need to be focused right now. I need to be creative, find good gank opportunities, put the team ahead, and then we bring it home. So that's really the game plan. Now. To begin with, I'm going to have those bots because I don't think top lane is going to be that easy to gank early on. It's going to be slightly easy to gank Karma when Camille hits level 6 though. Then we just press Camille ult on Karma. Karma is squishy, she's going to die right away. But till then, mid and bot should be our highest chance of making plays. Uh, Kiskowski and Sanitech92, thank you so much for the Twitch Primes, I appreciate it. That's an ugly skin. What? This one? You don't like the skin? What is wrong with you? This is the OG Elise skin. This is the best Elise skin for sure. I love the skin. Back in my young days, when I was an Elise one trick in season three, this was the only Elise skin I owned. The only skin that I played with. So it uh, will always have a special place in my heart. Brings back memories. So, on Elise, when against a farm heavy jungle like Belvoir, it can often be nice to do red raptors. Get both of those out of the way, then do a Grump. And after Grump, we're gonna have some options. I can do blue and wolves. If I wanna do a five camp clear, I can do Grump and then invade Belvoir on red buff. We have a good wall on raptors, so I'm, I know that Belvoir is gonna show on raptors in just a moment when she's done clearing the top side. Only downside of looking for the early invade is that enemy team right now has huge bot prior. And if I move into the jungle, well, Lucian and Army are gonna come and try to kill me. So instead, I'm gonna do blue, quickly get this, and then I can look for the bot gank. Ideally, we look for the bot play before the wave is already on the turret. But let's have a look. Apparently, they have a ward, but they are playing slightly aggressive. Maybe we can look for Nami here. Belvif could follow soon. Okay, the trade flashes. Belvif should be done clearing in around 10 seconds. Still a bit of time to go. Nami having no flash is really good though. We should be able to kill her soon. I got crap. Belvif can't full clear by 315. So crap is always gonna be mine unless she skips crocs. I'm gonna move all the way behind bot lane. Belveth could be sitting here in like Tryon River unless she based a Jin actually died. I'm gonna look now. Nami has no flash. I guess Lucian didn't use anything. They didn't ping any summoners. Belveth was sitting in lane. 
You're kidding. I actually just sat in lane waiting. 200 IQ. All just lucky. Which your way. That blows. I wish they didn't get 2v2 killed. They should just have waited for me. I could look for a mid dive if he stays, but maybe it's too hard. Uh, he wants to base anyways. I'll try to get top crap before Belveff comes. I have so little gold, I don't really care about basing right now. I don't get enough from it. Belveff is gonna have a nice base getting that first blood. In terms of CS, I'm fine now because I got double crap. We're gonna be about even. It's just uh, the gold on her that uh, means I have to work a little harder. Because again, I will get outscaled. I have to win early game. Ready to look top now. Belbeth is top side, probably around Wolves at this point. No, nope. she was sitting right here apparently. My true is beneath. There's no point looking for a gang right now. Karma is basing. Belbeth knows we're there. I think we just do this and base. Once I'm done with Crocs, I can get Sorcerer Shoes and base. And that is the ideal Elise base. Get those tier 2 boots, that magic pen. Then we're going to be quite powerful when coming back on the map here in a second. The middle is still not going to be level 6 for a little while. I could look for a quick top gank before facing. See if we can kill Karma or worst case get a flash. They might have ward here, I'm not sure. Oh, Camille just eat in the air. That might make this a little trickier. He's going to flash into it. Oh! I knew she would flash, but I messed up the angle. That blows. That would have been nice. What? But... Get in there! Go on her! There we go. I missed my cocoon, but I was still confused because Camille pinged to move forward. And then when I flashed, she walked back. I thought she would leave me hanging. Bot lane's gonna have a tough time. That means there's gonna be more pressure on me and the solo lanes. But they keep giving kills to Belvef, so I'll have a hard time keeping up. I could do honey fruit and look top again, but I really need to base soon. Now I have so much gold. Okay, it's a free kill. This time she has nowhere to run. Back to base we go. Belveth probably gonna be topside, hopefully Camille respects. I could have helped push out, but it shouldn't be necessary. She can just E out if Belveth comes. Now I have a decision to make. I can either continue camping calm at top and try to snowball Camille further, or I can try to help my bot lane get back on track. Galio should continue having mid prior on Akali, which is nice, so he can help me keep up the pressure and join for a, a gank or a dive. Harold just spawned, getting that would be pretty big. We also have Camille Ult coming up in 30 seconds. I think we continue topside for the time being. Because if I walk bot side here, there's a chance Belveth gets Harold for free, and we definitely want to give this Harold up. As we can see, top wave is building up and it's going to start pushing into Camille. Meaning that soon we can look for a play. I can probably even just walk behind, come behind the turret here. Yeah, this is free. Can we look at Ulta? I jump in. See, gotta get creative with the Elise ganks. This one was pretty easy. I only took a single tower shot because I could just repel out. Camilla wants to freeze the wave, that's fine. We just need to be mindful that they're gonna push top for a little while now. Meaning if Belveth starts Herald here... Well, then I'll actually have to give it up. Because now it's gonna take a while before Camilla is back in lane. Maybe me and Galio can hold it, but she still has to clear the big top wave. Camilla has to go top. The wave is hitting the turret. Like whatever, I have to take this plan over. I got it. Camilla should really go top now. If she doesn't want to go top, I'm gonna go there. I want to herald top. Belveth doesn't want to be top side anymore because I camps up on bot side. 
Meaning, if she comes top to stop us from getting the entire turret, that's pretty good for us. That mean, would mean she's not farming for a little while. Well, we see Belva bot side. Karma can't defend alone. If she shows up here, we can just kill her for free. Fucking heralds. I'm gonna check if she wards. If she walks up, we can kill her for free. Again, Belveth is still bot side, so Karma is gonna be alone for a while. I'm gonna walk behind her so she has no escape path. Perfect. So there's different ways you can play these. This is one of them. Just picking one lame and lane and camping the crap out of them. This karma has not been allowed to play League of Legends. Now, hopefully Camilla can help me bringing this one home. She has such a big lead. I'll get a rocket belt here, I think. Wouldn't mind some extra mobility having the active versus our champs. And let's move bot side of the base. We can kill us soon. Belveth is going to continue pushing top for plates, I imagine. That's a Karma. What is she doing? This Karma is running it. I think we tilted her, guys. Well, she's gonna die soon. That was a very unfortunate Karma TP. Elbeth didn't push plates top. That's great. She could have gotten a lot. As expected, she's 30 CS up on me. That I can't avoid, but... She's only been part of two kills where I have been part of eight, so... That's the least gap right there. The proactivity. Coming in hot. <laughs> Why are you bullying Karma? I'm sorry guys, it it needs to be done. It's the it's the least power, it's not my fault. I'm sorry. Whoever designed the champion forced me to do this. It is how you win on her. Oh shit! What the hell? What is this damage? <laughs> what? Holy moly, Lucian! Calm down, bro! <laughs> Where did my health bar go? Nami Lucian is such a scary combo. I can't base. If I base, I think we lose Herald before I'm back. I need some camps that I can heal on. There we go. Luckily, I have some healing in my kit. Not much, but it's better than nothing. Lucian is the main threat that we need to keep an eye on here. If I can catch Lucian early in fights, we win, but... If he's left untouched, he's, in, he's just gonna kill her on. That works. Oh, I'm dead. I fucked up my repel. I'm just dead. My bad. I misplayed. I didn't think Belbeth was there. I just eat in immediately to kill Karma, and then another friend showed up. Just look mid here. Oh, the Lucian movement. Can't dodge a Camille ult though. Perfect. I'll herald now. Tier 2. Beldorf is gonna have to take part in the game soon or they're gonna lose. In part of 3 kills only. The team is struggling. We can go Drake now. Oh, Galio. I don't really care about getting the him. 
Honestly, it's probably better if we don't take it. We're still pretty early in the game. Don't want to give them free farm from super minions. <laughs> We're just rolling over them. I wanna pick up Red. If it's still there. Should be. And then we can join the team after. I got 100 gold from killing Karma. That is not much. I still have repel. No! 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 I underestimated that damage! My stacks! No! Every web a masterpiece. Well, I'm slowly getting my stacks back. Karma is tanky now. Another 100 gold from her. She's 0 11 at this point. My good old friend Karma. Let's go! Two W's on the board. Now we're just gonna keep it up! We're doing work guys, we're doing work! Good games, good games. We keep grinding, keep going. Let's do this. Let's have a little look at face check this game, see what face check says. I could have done different. So, which ones are reds? I had lower CS than Camille. Oh, that, not the Camille. <laughs> Why did I say Camille? I had lower CS than Belveth. Well, like I said, going into the game, that's just due to the jungle matchup, due to the playstyle. That's okay. I hit level 6 after Belveth. That was a byproduct of Belveth getting 2 kills in bot lane while I was mostly getting assists early on. Um, I didn't kill my opponent before level 6. That's true, I was camping top. My vision score could have been higher. Um, okay, I mean, those are not, re not really big takeaways. I think overall there wasn't much I could have done differently in this game, to be honest. I think it was, uh, it was a solid game overall. There was a certain risk to me just camping the crap out of top lane and ignoring bot. But it obviously paid off. Bot lane was able to play somewhat safe. They limited their deaths and I think they died like three or four times in the first ten minutes. At that point, once, you know... <laughs> Once we got out of laning phase, Karma had 7 or 8 deaths, and then... Yeah. It was pretty easy. Proxy, go look at Wulu. Is there a new rumor? Are there any spicy rumors? Sources. Bot laner Reckless. Will return to Fnatic as AD carry. Real. Whoa, ho, ho. I'm gonna tweet the response to that. Let's see. Do we have like a shock team of that? Is Today is a beautiful day. Wow. Alrighty then, Mr. Reckless. 